gather for worship in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. A very warm welcome to Mass on this nice choppy morning. Um, whether you're worshipping here with, with us in person, or worshipping with us online. By the verses of God, let us confess our sins and present our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to Him, which is our spiritual worship. God be gracious to us and bless us, and make your face shine upon us. your saving path among the nations. You, Lord, have made known your salvation and reveal your justice in the sight of the nations. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you your sins, and bring you to everlasting life. Amen. <clears throat> Let us pray. God of all mercy, your Son proclaimed good news to the poor, release to the captives, and freedom to the oppressed. Anoint us with your Holy Spirit, and set all your people free to praise you in Christ our Lord. Amen. Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Now, when Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew to Galilee. He left Nazareth and made his home in Capernaum by the lake, in the territory of Zebulun and Naphtali, so that what had been spoken through the prophet Isaiah might be fulfilled. Land of Zebulun, land of Naphtali. On the road by the sea across the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people who sat in darkness have seen a great light, and for those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light has dawned. From that time, Jesus began to proclaim, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. As he walked by the sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the lake, for they were fishing. And he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went from there, he saw two other brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, in the boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets. And he called them. Immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. Jesus went throughout Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing every disease and every sickness among the people. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 
Now, if you're a small person in church this morning, you'd like to come and sit a bit nearer the front so you can see what's happening and take part. Come and sit a bit nearer the front. Now then, hands up, and it doesn't just have to be small people who answer this question, hands up if you like football. You can answer this question as well. Well, a few of you do. Right, I want, to, I want you to imagine that All Saints Carl Scholten has been challenged to a football match by Holy Cross Church. And if we were to play that football match, we would need to ensure that we have the best team possible. So, this is where I need, I've got to say you support football, but as you call this Chelsea, it doesn't really Come here. I need you to hold that for me, Scott. So, if we were to choose some of the best footballers in the world, who could we have in goal? Who would we have in goal? Come on, what's next? Say it again. Alison from Liverpool. Right, you ran Alison. So we've got Alison from Liverpool. Okay, so, who would we have in defence? Dad can answer this as well, or mums. Who could we have in defence? Here's some answers being suggested. Champion there. So, we've got someone in goal from Liverpool. I used to work there, so I can do the act. Strikers. Strikers. Who do we have at Strikers? Who? Messi. Messi. Lionel. Lionel. Who would they have? Midfield. Any ideas? The dads are being very quiet <laughs> Anyone for midfield? Who have we got as a striker? Messi. Who have we got in defence? Lewis Dunk. And who have we got Pepe. in midfield? Brilliant. So just hold, hold that up so people can see. Now, if we were to get those four in our team, I could guarantee that the football team from Holy Cross Church would not stand a chance. All Saints, Carl Scholten, would wipe the floor with them. And that's because they're gifted. They know what they're doing. They're professionals. Now, when we ask people to do something, when we ask people to do a job, we see that they're special, that they can do it, that they've got the real gifts. So, a few years ago, first time I met him, 
Father Daniel, I thought to myself, actually, you know, he's going to be quite good. I'll have him on my team. But sometimes, you know, we don't always get what we want. Jesus didn't necessarily choose the best people to do jobs. So in that Bible reading we heard, there were four people, two sets of brothers, whom Jesus called to work with him. Just like he called Father Daniel to work with me. But you know, those people who he asked to work with him, they weren't particularly special. They didn't, like Father Daniel and I, have degrees in theology. They didn't know a lot about God. They didn't know a lot about law or legal stuff. They were just fishermen. They've got no gifts or talents, you'd think, for telling people about God. But you know, what's important was that they saw something special in Jesus. And when Jesus said, come, follow me. Come, follow me, come on, follow me. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Brilliant. I wasn't expecting him to do that, but it worked really well. That's the Holy Spirit that worked. That's exactly what they did. Jesus said, follow me. And they stopped what they were doing. And they followed Jesus. Now, in our lives, we never know when, at what point, Jesus is going to go and knock and ask us to do something. We never know. We always need to be listening. Just hear what God is saying to us. We need to be listening and be able to say, just like James, John, Peter and Andrew, yes. But actually, not just to go, mm, yeah, if you want. Because mm, mm. I'll tell you something now. When Father Daniel and I agreed that he was going to come here, every time I had a Zoom meeting with him, this was in the days when you had to do everything by Zoom, did you look glum? Did you look miserable? No, you were. There was a real sense of joy and excitement about coming to Carshot, about answering God's call to be here and do His work. So it's not just about saying yes to God, it's about saying yes to God and saying yes to God with joy in our hearts. So listen for God, listen to what He's saying. Say yes with happiness and with joy. You do stand. My brothers and sisters, do you believe and trust in God the Father who made all things, the one for whom we exist? Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us, and rose again? I believe and trust in Him. Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known in the world? I believe and trust in Him. This is the faith of the Church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in God. So in the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. We pray that the light of God will shine in all the dark corners of the church and set us free from prejudice, small-mindedness, 
and hypocrisy, that as members of the body of Christ, we can move freely through the power of God, wherever we are called to go, available and active in God's service. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray that our world may be lit by this light in the darkness, to bring freedom and hope wherever there is oppression, recognition and respect where there is none, and in all conflicts, positive ways forward. Lord, hear us. We pray that in our homes and workplaces, and our neighbourhoods, the light of godly loving may soften harsh edges, harsh edges, encourage mutual caring, and heal dysfunctional or damaging relationships. Lord, hear us. We pray that all those whose lives are fettered by the past, by rejection, guilt, pain or anxiety, may be set free and encouraged to live in the full. Lord, hear us. We pray for those who have died and those who miss them and are finding it very hard to cope with their loss. We pray for all those who have no one to help them through their last journey. Lord, hear us. Thank you, Father, for transforming our suffering and our mistakes again and again and again. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We are all one in Christ Jesus. We belong to him through faith, heirs of the promise of the spirit of peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you.
accept your people's gifts, not gold, frankincense or myrrh, but hearts and voices raised in praise of Jesus Christ, our light and our salvation. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Lord of all life, you created the universe where all living things reflect your glory. You give us this great and beautiful earth to discover and to cherish. And now we give you thanks, because in the incarnation of the world, a new light has dawned upon the world, that all the nations may be brought out of darkness to see the radiance of your glory. Thank you, loving Father, <clears throat> because when we turned away, you sent Jesus your Son. He gave his life for us on the cross and shows us the way to live. Send your Holy Spirit, that these gifts of bread and wine may be for us Christ's body and his blood. On the night before he died, when darkness had fallen, Jesus took bread, he gave thanks, he broke it, and shared it with his disciples, saying, This is my body given for you. Do this to remember me. After they had eaten, he took the cup of wine, gave thanks, and shared it with his disciples, saying, This is my blood, poured out for you and for men, for the forgiveness of sin. Great is the mystery of faith.
so, Father, with this bread and this cup, we celebrate his love, his death, and his risen life. As you feed us with these gifts, send your Holy Spirit and change us more and more to be like Jesus our Saviour. Help us, Father, to love one another as we look forward to that day when suffering is ended and all creation is gathered in your loving arms. And now with all your saints we give you glory through Jesus Christ, in the strength of the Spirit, today and forever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so in faith and love we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and then my soul shall be healed.
pray together on the last page. God of truth, we have seen with our eyes and touched with our hands the bread of life. Strengthen our faith that we may grow in love for you and for each other. Through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the notices. Please note, um, because we have a little bit of reorganisation in the church building, the school sign-in register is now at the back, in the back entrance, so please do find. So if you want to register a place or register your attendance here today um, so that you can apply for one of our foundation places at our school or any other school, please do find the book at the back of church. It used to be down there, but please do now find it at the back. Um, I hope that's all clear. Um, services this week um, will be as normal. Um, so please do have a look at the notices and see what is on this week. Um, we're thinking about setting up a book group or a reading group here at All Saints. Um, now most people here are busy with um, looking after children. Um, I'm sure we could have children at this, it wouldn't be an issue. Um, but um, if you're interested in joining a book reading group, um, please do have a chat with me. Um, the books would be of a theological or a faith-based nature. Um, we haven't quite decided what books we've read yet. I just want to gather some interest. So please do speak to me after the service if you're interested in joining a book group here at All Saints. We also have our next wine tasting on Friday the 17th of February. Um, tickets are £12.50 as usual. Um, the focus for this wine tasting will be German wines. I really, really like German wines, so I'm very excited about that. Um, please do have a chat with Marion um, at the back. Um, Chris, who organises it, is away today. And so if you'd like to book a ticket, presuming there are still some left, they do sell out quite quickly sometimes, um, please do uh, see Marion or speak to Chris um, next week so you can buy a ticket. Or so have a chat with me or, Father, or with Father David or myself. I think those are all of the notices for this week, other than, other than to stay warm and stay blessed. Um, and please do um, stay for refreshments at the back of church after Mass as well. Thank you. Please stand. The Lord be with you. May the light of the glorious gospel of Christ shine in your hearts and fill our lives with his joy and peace and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you this day and always. Amen.
The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ.